Welcome back to the solutions manual. In this video, we will solve the problem 8 8 from RC Hibaler Engineering Statics 14th edition. According to this problem, the block brake consists of a pin connected lever and friction block at B. The coefficient of static friction between the wheel and the lever is 0.3 and a torque of 5 newtons meter is applied to the wheel. we have to determine if the brake can hold the wheel stationary when the force applied to the lever is 13 newtons and 17 newtons now to solve this problem first of all we will consider the free body diagram of this wheel so i want you to consider only the wheel for the free body diagram so on this wheel we have the pin reactions at point o so we have a vertical support reaction and the horizontal support reaction at point b we have the normal force and the frictional force now to get the direction of the frictional force we can do some inspection as the wheel is rotating in the counter clockwise direction the friction would oppose this relative motion so the direction of the frictional force would be opposite so the direction of the frictional force would be towards left let's label them so this right here is oy this is ox this is nb and this is the frictional force fb so now we can apply our equations of equilibrium so my first equation is summation of moments at point o equals to 0 i am considering counter clockwise direction as positive since the line of action of oy ox is passing through the point o so these two forces do not have any moment arm with respect to the point o so ox and oy will not produce any moment about the point o the frictional force fb is trying to rotate the wheel in clockwise direction about the point o so the moment produced by this frictional force will be taken as negative so negative fb and and the moment arm is basically the radius of the circle So one fifty millimeter, but we have to convert it into the meters. So we have to divide it by thousand. So it becomes zero point one five meter. The line of action of the normal reaction N B is also passing through the point O. So N B also does not have any moment arm with respect to the point O. So N B force will not produce any moment about point O. We also have to consider this. external 5 newtons meter torque and it is counter clockwise so we would take it as positive equals to 0 so upon simplification the frictional force fb comes out to be 33.33 newtons and now according to the problem statement we have to determine if the brake can hold the wheel stationary when the force is applied so it means the brake is only preventing the wheel from slipping so the wheel is on the verge of slipping so when the objects are on the verge of slipping then we can express the frictional force as a product of the coefficient of static friction into the normal contact force so the normal contact force nb comes out to be frictional force fb which is 33.33 newtons divided by the coefficient of static friction which is 0.3 so the normal reaction at point b comes out to be 111.1 newtons now these two values are important because we will use these two values for the calculation of the force p on the lever so now i want you to consider the free body diagram of this lever only 
द स्पिन कनेक्टेड लीवर एंड इफ आई ड्रॉ इट सेपरेटली देन इट वुड लुक समथिंग लाइक दिस नॉ लेट्स ड्रॉ द फ्री बॉडी डायग्राम ऑफ दिस लीवर पॉइंट ए वी हैव अ पिन कनेक्शन सो वी हैव अ वर्टिकल सपोर्ट रिएक्शन एंड द हॉरिजोंटल सपोर्ट रिएक्शन एट पॉइंट बी अकॉर्डिंग टू न्यूटन्स थर्ड लॉ वी हैव द नॉर्मल फोर्स इन द ऑपोजिट डायरेक्शन एंड ऑल्सो वी हैव द फ्रिक्शनल फोर्स बट ड्यू टू द न्यूटन्स थर्ड लॉ इट हैज टू बी इन द ऑपोजिट डायरेक्शन सो टूवर्ड्स राइट लेट्स लेबल डैम सो दिस राइट हेयर इज ए वाई दिस इज ए एक्स दिस इज एन बी एंड दिस इज एफ बी so now we can apply our equations of equilibrium to determine the required value of p and then we can compare the required value of p with those given values so my first equation is summation of moment at point a equals to 0 i am considering counter clockwise direction as positive Since the line of action of a x and a y is passing through the point A, so these two forces do not have any moment arm with respect to the point A. So a x and a y will not produce any moment about the point A. The normal contact force N B is trying to rotate the lever in clockwise direction about the point A. So the moment produced by this N B force will be taken as negative. So negative N B. and the moment arm is 0.2 meter the frictional force fb is trying to rotate the lever in counter clockwise direction about the point a so the moment produced by this frictional force fb will be taken as positive and the moment arm is this 50 mm or 0.05 meters the force p is trying to rotate the lever in counter clockwise direction about the point a so the moment produced by this force p will be taken as positive and the moment arm is 200 mm plus 400 mm so 600 mm or 0.6 meter equals to 0 so if i substitute the known values i would have negative 111.1 into 0.2 plus the frictional force fb which is 33.33 newtons into 0.05 plus 0.6p equals to 0 so from here the required value of p comes out to be 34.26 newtons 34.26 newtons is the minimum value of force p now we can use this required value of p to compare with the given values of p so in the part a p is 30 newtons and in the part b the p is 70 newtons in the a part when the p is 30 newtons it is less than 34.26 newtons which is the required force p so no brake cannot hold the wheel stationary and in the part b when the p is 70 newtons it is greater than the required force p which is 34.26 newtons so in this case yes the brake can hold the wheel stationary so this is it for this problem i hope you would find this video helpful If you do please make sure to subscribe to this channel and also turn on the bell icon for the daily updates and if you have any questions or any doubts in the free body diagram or in the equations of equilibrium or in the concluding statements 
then feel free to ask in the comment section and I will try to answer them as soon as possible. Thank you.